I'm disappointed that I have not seen Jeff Okuda. How do you not tell the story of a guy who's coming off an Achilles injury who has everything to prove this year? Don't we see that? That's so important. That's so important to your fan base. If something is not entertaining, guess what? They're not showing it. Start with this, and it's going to lead into our 9 o'clock segment. But I'm sorry, Terry. I have to bring it up. Nope, you're standing up, Dave so this Burkett, must be something. Love Dave Burkett, by the way. He's good I think kid. he does a phenomenal job. Yeah. Dave Burkett of the Free Press comes out with an article yesterday saying that Jeff Fukuda and Will Harris are <clears throat> neck and neck down the stretch competing for the starting corner position. Watching Hard Knocks, I haven't gotten much of Jeff Okuda, which, again, what is what is Hard Knocks at its core, Terry? Is it not a television show? Is it not a reality? Is it not there to be entertaining? Is not it not is it not there to tell the story? Of yeah, but some... it, the number one thing is entertainment. Well, what could be more entertaining? What could be a better story than a guy who was selected third overall not too long ago, struggled with injuries, Reportedly having the greatest offseason of his career, never felt better, never faster, never stronger. How would you not highlight that in Hard Knocks? You've highlighted multiple players, specifically Jamal Williams. You've highlighted players that have been fighting and battling. You don't highlight Jeff Okuda? What? Why? Now, are the Lions going to HBO and Hard Knocks and saying, hey, Ben Johnson, Jeff Okuda off limits to you. We don't want any of it. Zero. But why would they not want that? I don't know. And that's what I'm asking this morning. I'm disappointed that I have not seen Jeff Okuda. I'm not saying, oh, well, he doesn't play. He's not playing. He sucks. No, no, no. Now, are you, disappointed? are you disappointed because you want to see him? I think it's a good story. Or are you disappointed because in the back of your mind, you're thinking Jeff Okuda is really bad again? Well, that's in the back of my head because you're not showing him. And let's all be honest. We saw the reports. We saw the footage. Tuesday, he got mugged by Alec Pierce and Michael Pittman Jr. <laughs> and reportedly, he bounced back Wednesday. I didn't see any of that in the episode. How? How don't we see that? That's so important. That's so important to your fan base. Why would you not want to highlight, supposedly, Jeff Okuda dominating and doing well? I wouldn't even say dominating, recovering, showing signs of life. Then we get an article saying, well, he's competing for the starting role against Will Harris. Will Harris, according to PFF last year, I believe, if I read this correctly and I can't even remember who tweeted it, ranked 91st of the 92 qualified players at his position last year. 91 of 92. Uh, the number three overall pick from a few years ago is struggling to compete with that guy. But don't and I we can't agree get, he should not have been the number three pick? Yeah, we can agree, but, but damn I, it, Terry, that doesn't I, change the fact. You got here's the good news here. I'm gonna s slow your roll down a little bit. A few weeks ago, Jeff Okuda was the de fact was definitely the number two guy. Will Harris is way ahead of him. Now you're talking about it being a dog fight. May and. I've seen signs that Akuda may have passed him a little bit. So, maybe the Lion coaches are making him earn it. Should I pull up and start jerking off on the show right now because he's passing Will Harris? No, I'm not saying that. I'm just I, saying. I'm swearing. So, do you get my frustration here? I, because this is, again, story. We're telling a story. That's our job, uh, HBO <laughs> and the Lions here with this Hard Knocks thing. How do you not tell the story of a guy who's coming off an Achilles injury? Who has everything to prove this year. To prove idiots apparently like me wrong. Okay, you can't be upset because some editor or some producer from New York City decided not to use him yet. Um, that You know, we haven't seen Ben Johnson. Does this mean that Ben Johnson sucks as an See, offensive but I can coordinator? Buy in, I can buy in, and I, you know, I'm, a, I'm a guy who likes to think of why things happen the way they do. I like to be ahead of things. I think it's quite simple. The Lions are protecting Ben Johnson, and they're probably doing the same with Jeff Okuda. Because what you don't want to show people, and remember, everybody's watching this, you don't want social media videos and social media highlights of Ben Johnson communicating with his players, how he's going about running the offense, practice, communication with the quarterback. You don't want to highlight any of that. You know why? Why? The
going to get hired at the end of the season. That's why. Okay. That that I can get behind. If you want to tell me, hey, we're going to protect Jeff. You know what? He's actually doing really well. We don't care what the media says. He's doing well, but we just don't want to show it. That's fine. That's fine. But do you get where I'm concerned at at least? I don't. Really? I, I really don't. First of all, Ben Johnson is your guy, right? Yeah. So. Well, he doesn't need to talk because his offense is going out there and being hyper-efficient, whether it's with the second, third strings, or the starters enjoying practice. They killed the Colts on Tuesday and Wednesday. They killed them. The play is doing the talking for Ben. Okay, you're looking at Hard Knocks as a journalism experiment. Hard Knocks is more entertainment. Yes, there's news on there. Yes, there's some journalism, but the main thing is entertainment. If something is not entertaining, guess what? They're not showing it. That's why I ask you the question, though. What could be more entertaining, outside of the Hutchinson stuff, the rookies, the people on the bubble, than a guy with, I could argue, the best storyline in that facility? Nobody has a better storyline going into the year than Jeff Okuda. It's Coming not. off an Achilles injury, drafted by bumps, has only played 10 games in his first two years. Everybody doubting him, including me. He's going to prove Adam wrong. He's going to prove the media. That, that is the best story, Terry, is it not? No. Aiden Hutchinson is the best story. No question. Uh, Deuce Staley and uh, Dan Campbell are better stories. Entertainment. So I think Jeff Fukuda is being surpassed by his coach. He's being surpassed by a – I think this is such a dynamic coaching staff that from an entertainment standpoint – you want to show them yelling. You want to show them encouraging people. They uh, didn't even show the one play that did go viral on social media that Jeff Okuda did make, which was a – I want to say he broke up the pass. It wasn't a pass deflection, but the receiver had caught it. He knocked it out before he could secure the catch. It was a good play on the sideline, and Okuda was celebrating. Like, they didn't show anything. Again – Maybe, maybe you're saving right. it. Maybe you're right. Maybe I'm just looking. It, it, it was well, last not night. Save it. Was last night the last hard knock show? No, but that play specifically <clears throat> and what he's been doing in camp, that's done now. They covered the whole indie week. That's done. Now they're focusing on Pittsburgh. It's going to be a lot to do with cuts, anyways. But anyway, you know, maybe you're right. Maybe I'm looking too much into it. Maybe right. I am. Entertainment, brother. Entertainment. That's what they're looking I, for. I, I like to think there's nothing more entertaining than a comeback story that people can get behind. I, it, I really it, do. It's not. Hmm? Trust me. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> uh, people in the chat, I believe, were asking who was a worst, who's a worse pick and a bigger bust, Eric Ebron or Jeff Okuda. A lot of people saying Ebron because Aaron Donald was drafted behind him. Uh, that's very fair. I actually agree. But three years from now, Four years from now, if Jeff Okuda doesn't at least give you some all-pro seasons, let's just say he flames out, he's just average, you know what's going to happen? We're going to put a picture right here, and it's going to be Jeff Okuda, Matt Patricia, and Bob Quinn all side-by-side, side, combining their fists and shoving them in your asses. <laughs> Meanwhile, Justin <clears throat> Herbert's in the background probably lifting a Lombardi trophy. Right. That's who you missed on. Right. That's who you missed on. Right now, I'm going to say Ebron is a bigger bust because he gave up here. He just gave up. So far, Jeff Okuda has not given up. He's still trying. He's still trying to be a productive member of this roster. Uh, I don't see him fighting with people on social media. I don't see him MFing the whole Lions fan base and the organization. Eric Ebron was like, he couldn't handle what was being said about him. So he's like, I'm out. Jeff Okuda, in my mind, is still saying, I'm going to be a productive member of this team. I'm not giving up yet. So in a squeaker of a contest, I'm going to say Eric Ebron was the bigger bust. That's the question. You know, we'll see. We'll see how this 2022 season goes. If I'm honest with you, as a human, wish him nothing but the best. But I'm sorry. You're the number three overall pick. Yes, it's not Brad Holmes' problem. Yes, it's not Dan Campbell's problem. You're fighting for your career right now. 
I hope he turns out to be something good. I don't see it. I really don't. The fact that him and, quote, him and Will Harris neck and neck for the Detroit Lions cornerback job. Like, Jalen Ramsey wasn't neck and neck with any motherfucker his year, first year in Jacksonville. He was the de facto best player on that team in the secondary. Is Jeff Okuda Jalen Ramsey? I'm just curious. When you pick him number three overall, I would like that to be the All case. But you had idiots pick him number I three. I understand, Terry, but... Okay, so you just want me to forget that he was the number three overall pick and just say, you know what? You know what, Jeff? It's okay, buddy. It's okay. You were taking... No, you, no, no. We're not going to worry about Here's where you way, were taking... No, no. Bro hammer. Here's how you should look at it. <laughs> Jeff Okuda never should have been picked number three. Therefore, you're never going to expect him to be number three pick worthy. Like, he's never going to be the number three... Was Ebron ever 10 pick worthy? No. Same thing. But once again... And yes, Aaron Donald you, was taken you, after you him, and you can use him picked by idiots. All right, let, let's Fair. say... I Martin mean, the, the way I look too. at it, the way I look at it, you had monkeys pick Jeff Okuda number three. Doesn't mean he's the, he should and be the number three pick. And your professional experience then, and your professional experience, you've done this a long time. Yes. How can I move forward? Because the reality is, so far and for his first two years, he's been a bust. Fair or not fair? Fair. So how do I move forward without acknowledging that he was the number three overall pick? Because that plays a big role into it. If he was a third round pick, I wouldn't give a damn and I'd be moving on. All right. right now. Stop. <laughs> right now. You have to understand it. They were picked by idiots. I understand they, that. So But what does that do for me? It doesn't do anything for you got you you have to differentiate the Lions as a as what they are now I BS am. organization I am, into though. what they are now this is not an indictment on Brad Holmes Dan Campbell and the job I they've know done. that absolutely not but you have to understand the Lions and, to, and you know what here's what you don't want to do you don't want to admit the Lions were one of the worst organizations ever oh I'll admit it easily okay. they, no 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 don't say one of the Detroit Lions are the worst fucking organization in <laughs> NFL right, history bam there you go and it's not even close be a man Okay, with that said, you have to understand that the mistakes creep up into what Brad Holmes and Dan Campbell are trying to do. They can't help what Jeff Okuda was. They can't help what uh, Quinn Trisha did. They can't help that. That's part of the – you have to um, – and, and that's what Dan Campbell's doing. He's trying to get rid of the stench – of previous Detroit Lions organizations, the mindset, the uh, that's that's what he's trying to change. Fair enough. But we, you can't look at Jeff Okuda and say, you know what, probably should have been picked much later in the first round, even in the second round. That's okay. I'll, history. I'll, I'll let it go. Okay. I think you should you you should relax on this. I'm gonna one. relax a little bit, but I just want to address one one person. Okay. New money in the YouTube chat. New money. Do me a favor. Uh oh. Here it comes. Do me a favor, buddy. I want you to Please don't. close your eyes. Okay. All right. Close your fist <laughs> and <laughs> shove it up your ass. <laughs> and after you've shoved it in your ass, take it out and then shove it down your throat and shut the hell up. Why? Was Matthew Stafford a bust after his first two years? You know what? Yeah, he did struggle with injuries. But the dude showed flashes of being a very talented quarterback, you dumb fuck. Oh, mm. boy. And what did he do his third season? Playoff appearance. 5,000 yards. Do me a favor. Whoever you are, I wish you had a real name, not some fake YouTube account. Shut the hell up.